Hi, I'm Nolan, and this is my three minute max tip on how to create content that is only visible in print or a PDF, but that is hidden when you're in slideshow mode. For example, this title slide has a great picture of my dog Banksy sitting on Santa's lap, but you don't see it when you're in slideshow mode. How do I use this elsewhere? Well, sometimes I have page numbers that I don't want to be show that I don't want to show on screen. The client insists on having it for printout or you know review purposes, which is fine. But I don't want to see those on screen because I just don't think they're necessary. And so I hide them whenever we're in slideshow mode. No page number. No page number. So how do I do this? Do you think it's some sort of animation trick? Well, let's go to the animation pane and we'll look at. Nope, there's no animation on the slide. It's not an animation trick. Okay, I lied, it is an animation trick. Let's go to the master. If we go to the master and go all the way to the top, select my page number there, you'll see that I've applied an appear animation and a disappear animation. So we appear uh, and then immediately right after that it disappears. Why can't I just use a disappear animation? Well, because if you have any transition applied to the slide, those will render before any on slide animation. So if we didn't have the appear animation, you would see the flash of the page number and then it would disappear and it's kind of weird. So we just always apply an appear and then immediately after that disappear. So you can use this for simply for page numbers, but you can use it for other content as well. For example, this slide also has a page number that's hidden, but it also has a source that I didn't really want to show on screen, but I, I wanted to have it in the handout and, and when we uh, made the PDF. So I just took that text box and again, appear and disappear. It's the exact same thing, really simple. You can even get more complicated with this if you want. If you want to have sort of a dual purpose deck where you have a slide like this that is glanceable, right? Can be read. That's a good on screen, you know, amount of text. But when you hand it out, you want your speaker notes in it. You want more detailed information. You can do that simply by designing your slide like this, but also with your more detailed information down here. So in this case, we took this line and we took this, uh, this text down here, and again, just on the slide, we applied an appear and a disappear animation. Really simple, right? Uh, really simple. There we go. So when we're in slideshow mode, you don't see all that information, and when, when we're not, you do. So you can do tons of stuff with this. For example, in slideshow mode, if I wanted to see the bear and, and the elk, that's cool. But I could also, when I go out of it, I could see my dog again, because I like seeing him. And there he is wearing, he's wearing some antlers, some uh, sort of Easter... Uh, where there. Anyway, so that's that. And we can go back into slideshow and you don't see it. So that's my three minute max tip hiding on screen content. Don't forget, if you ever want to see my dog, just go out of slideshow mode and there he is again.